Hello, welcome back to part 38 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to create the high score class. But before we're going to do that, I want to create a current player variable and we're going to do that in the game class. So go to the game class and in the public variable section at the bottom we're going to say here a public static int and we call it the current player. And this indicates which player is playing. All right. And now we need to set the current player. And we're going to do that in the constructor. So set the current player default to player one. Right, so we can say here current player is equals to zero. Right? And now we're gonna create a came over flag and we're gonna do that in the Pac-Man class. So go to the Pac-Man class and after the private variable we're gonna say here a public bool and we call it the is came over right indicates if the game is over Now we need to set the is came over flag and we're going to do that in the constructor. So here at the bottom we're going to say set is came over flag default to false. So is came over is false. Alright. So now we're going to create the high score class. So go to project, add class, and we call it the high score.cs. Right? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the using block from the object class, just like this. And we're going to add a using statement, so I'm going to say here using system IO. Alright, and we're going to derive from our object class, so OBG. And the first thing we're going to do here is define a constant, so a private constant and it's a string and we call it the file name and we call it the score dot data represents the data file name. Alright, and now we're going to define some private variable. And the first one, it's a bool. So, private bool, and we call it the new high score
indicates if there is a new high score. Right? And the second one, it's a private int, and we call it the high score. represents the high score. Right? And now we're going to build the constructor. And that's a public high score. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to enable the object. So we can say here, it's alive, it's true. Alright. And now we're going to use a try cats block. So try cats. And we're going to catch an IO exception. And in the try, the first thing we're going to do there is we open the data file for reading. So open open the data file for reading. And we're going to use a file stream. So file stream is new file stream and we're going to pass in our file name and the file mode is open and the file access is read right Now we're going to create a binary reader. So binary reader, and we call it the reader, is new binary reader. And we're going to pass in our file stream. And now we can read the high score. So we can say here, high score is reader. It's going to read an int32. All right. And now we can close the reader and file stream. So close the reader and file stream. So we can say here reader close and file stream close. Right? And when we open the data file and there is no data file on disk, then we get an exception. And then we're going to say here that the high score is equal to zero. All right? the high score constructor and now we're going to build the load content method so we can say here public overrides load content 
and we don't need the base load content so we can delete this line load the content for the high score object and this is the content manager and that's the load content method and we leave it empty All right Okay, I'm going to finish the tutorial here and in the next tutorial we're going to finish the high scorer class. So I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.